Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is your host, Sinister. And I want to tell you guys happy Friday afternoon, night, Saturday morning, whatever time it is for you. Just enjoy it, you know? Today we're going to have some gameplay of Forza Motorsport 6 while we talk about the subject of Forza Horizon 3. So let's go ahead and hop into the game uh, so we don't sit here looking at the car for half an hour, shall we? <laughs> Now on to the kind of interesting topic that's going around now of Forza Horizon 3 obviously because the game's coming out soon, Hello. duh, it's going to be a topic. The game is set to be coming out at September 27th, uh, 2016 obviously this year. There's a lot of, there's a lot of mixed matched opinions, mixed feelings if you want to call them on Forza Horizon 3. Now I personally am going to get the game, um, but I'm going to tell you why I don't really see what's so so much special about it now obviously don't judge me on this uh, drifting that's gonna go on here this is a public lobby which is very dangerous I haven't played uh, Forza Motorsport 6 in a while so this might be bad <laughs> just uh, just a forewarning um, so yeah Forza oh my okay Forza Horizon 3 it's not really been appealing to me to be honest like all the release uh, videos that we've had even I even watched the 4k one uh, by IGN I watched it in 4k I do have a 4k TV by the way if you were wondering um, and it just didn't look that good to me to be honest like it looked like a enhanced version of Horizon 2 that's really all it looked like to me the, the game just didn't seem like anything new at all like the Outback yeah it looked a little bit different but most of the places that we've seen so far to me they look pretty much identical to what we, we would find in Horizon 2. There was a problem with Forza Motorsport 6 obviously being the fact that there were off-road ve vehicles and nowhere to off-road obviously it's a track game it's not gonna have uh, off-roading sections or anything like that but that game so far as we've seen only has mostly off-roading now there, there has been some new stuff I haven't really been keeping up with uh, too many too much new stuff uh, you know obviously people have gotten exclusive uh, access to the game and have been able to play it uh, and get some content on it and so forth but um, so far from what I've seen the IGN trailers uh, you know all the all the sort of gameplay peaks if you want to call them uh, that we've seen so far it just doesn't really that's just it it just doesn't appeal to me and then uh, I, I'm not the only one on this actually I, I've seen some people on YouTube comments because I was reading to the comments because I wanted to see what other people thought of the game if they thought the same thing that I did and I found out that some people actually well actually a, a, a pretty like decent amount of people on the I think it was the IGN video or, or someone's someone's video that I was watching it on and they were saying that you know it just this looks just like a Horizon 2 and you know I thought to myself you know what it does it actually does and that's one thing that kind of disappoints me is when a game kind of basically looks like the last one and they still want you to get it and everything but the cool thing is that it is coming to PC, so I'm, I'm just telling you most of the negatives. Like I said, the game is probably going to be really good. We just haven't seen too much of it yet to actually be able to tell um, what it's going to be like. Or maybe you can. Maybe you do have a different opinion. That's your right to have a different opinion, obviously. But uh, there, are, there are some positives that I've seen so far. Like I said, it will be on PC. Will be playable at 4K and 60 FPS, which will be really good. I know most of you probably won't care for that. Um, I don't know if the consoles will actually be able to handle 4K. Um, I'm really doubtful of that one. <laughs> for the for that price, you can't really do a really good 4K setup anywhere. So it's probably going to be really low frame rate, or something's going to be wrong with it. It's going to be buggy or something. I, I don't know. But uh, if it does, then 4K at 60 FPS, which is going to look amazing. Uh, hopefully, maybe. Maybe the reason why it didn't look so good in the YouTube videos because YouTube kind of downscales the videos, the videos. So uh, maybe we just wouldn't know um, because I tried to upload in 4K once and it just it just didn't let me. Out. I probably messed something up. I'm, I'm probably just retarded. And that's that's probably the case. <laughs> but 
But yeah, it's got the typical hype that some people had, you know. And I, I've been, I mean, seeing some some hype that people have, like uh, the certain cars that, are, that they're putting in, like the the Australian UTEs um, and stuff like that. That those cars really they don't appeal to me. I, they don't really like. They're Australian. Like people that are Australians, like I, probably some Australians watching this video right now, and you can probably relate to this. Most of Australians that I've seen so far, they they're they're not really into American cars. You mentioned American cars are like, eh, you know, whatever, that, that is cool. Uh, but they would rather have either Japanese or cars from their own country. And that's understandable because I really love muscle cars. I mean, I'm drifting in a muscle car right now. <laughs> I do really love JDM cars and Euro cars as well. Like, a lot of my favorite cars, they're not muscle cars. Um, but I do have a certain bias to muscle cars because being around them and just... Just the country that I'm from, you know, America, man. You gotta, if you're a real patriot American, you're gonna love muscle cars. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just the way it is, you know. You, 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 the, the cars from your country, they're gonna be a little bit more special, most times, than, um, than cars from other countries. For a few exceptions as well. Because I've seen some lowriders, they have lowrider events in Japan. I was, I was watching a video, I think it was on Twitter. And they actually have really nice lowriders there, which is actually surprising. <laughs> you wouldn't expect really American cars uh, being driven like that and showing up at car shows uh, and it being a huge deal. You know, they, those are imports there. So I guess they could be, you know? <laughs> well, 13th place, that's pretty sad. Let me know what you guys think of Forza Horizon 3 and if you're getting it and what platform you'll be playing it on. I personally will be getting it, uh, if you get it for PC, you also get it for Xbox One. But I'll be playing it probably 90% of the time on my PC. <laughs> I just, I'll just be completely honest with you guys, console is really dying out to me. Uh, the only reason I, I haven't sold uh, my consoles yet is because, well Forza, I enjoy Forza. I actually have a desire to play Forza Motorsport 6. And... Um, in PS4, I haven't sold, obviously, because I have friends there and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, just uh, just let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys can follow my social media, which is all linked in the description, as usual. This is Sinister, and until next time, peace out.